Um, so Bobby Robson, what are your reflections on, on him both as a, a manager and as a, as a man? No, he, so Bobby was just uh, so passionate about football. He loved the game. He could he could talk at 24 hours a day, uh, you know, and he was, I, I tell you, he was a great manager. Pe people, I think, sometimes didn't give him the credit that he deserved, you know, because to go abroad and have all the managerial jobs that he had, he was brave in his decision making on players and everything like that. But the one thing which I, I always look at was his man management. And, um, you know, when we were away on England duty, if we were in a hotel, and the lads could be telling jokes, you, you know, you have your meal and then you sit and you have a cup, cup of tea, cup of coffee and the lads would, uh, wouldn't would always just go straight to bed. And so he'd be sitting with all his staff, you know, on the table. And if we were killing ourselves laughing because somebody had come out with a joke or a story and, and everything, like that, you could say he'd just have this smile on his face and he'd just love it that the lads were happy and, you know, they're having a bit of banter together and that. Uh, and he absolutely loved that, uh, you know, and, and that's the way he was. He was just so passionate about the game. When we were in Mexico, uh, it was the first time that the, the wives could actually, or the girlfriends, and that could come out and stay with us for a week leading up to the World Cup. And so me and my wife, everybody knows that Bobby used to get names mixed up. And me and the wife were walking into breakfast this morning. He's on the phone, his mind's a million miles an hour and, I, and anyway he shouts across to me uh, morning Bobby and I've just went no gaffer you're Bobby I'm Brian <laughs> but that, that's because he he was always like full of things and you know he's so passionate and all that he just his mind would race away